Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and I'm just doing a quick bonus video for Resident Evil 2. This is uh, just a quick little thing on the unlockable costumes and uh, how to get them. Unlike the other Resident Evil games where you unlock costumes by beating the game or beating the game with a good score, or just beating it multiple times, in Resident Evil 2, if you want to get the secret costumes, you have to play through from the beginning of the game to the point where you get to the RPD station, which is here, without picking up any items, including ammo and the whichever gun you can pick up from Kendo's gun shop, depending on what character you are. This works with both characters, they have their own special costumes, and uh, fulfilling those requirements will spawn a special zombie here in the RPD in this underneath area. This is Zombie Brad Vickers, the helicopter pilot of STARS, the same one who leaves the team behind in the first game, and the one that Jill meets in front of the police station uh, in Resident Evil 3. In his undead form, he's actually fairly tough. Shot his arm right off. And I ran out of bullets, because obviously I didn't pick up any on the way here. So this is going to be a problem, because old Chicken Heart here is actually fairly fast and fairly uh, dangerous. And I am not very good with the knife. Alright, he's slowing down a bit. <laughs> and off with his head. Well, that could have gone better, but at least he's dead. If you search his body, you get the special key, which will allow you to unlock a room inside one of the safe rooms of the RPD. So we'll skip ahead to there. It's uh, kind of interesting, I guess, that when they made this game, Brad Vickers hadn't actually died in Resident Evil 3, because of course Resident Evil 3 didn't come out, but uh, then they decided that he would die in the same spot that he appears, almost, as a uh, special zombie, to sort of make it canon. Anyhow, this is the safe room where the costume uh, lockers are. It's the one on the west side, by the stairs. Claire only has one costume, uh, Leon has two available. However, Claire's does come with a bonus. This gun is the best gun ever. The Colt Single Action Army. It's only got six shots, but that's usually more than enough to kill anything that moves. It uses pistol rounds, and uh, is basically better in most ways than the pistol. As we're going to demonstrate. Obviously it has a much faster rate of fire, since Claire fans the hammer. Downside is you're going to be reloading a lot. It does, however, do more damage. Than the standard pistol. So it's not a straight upgrade, I'd say. It's kind of a, a good trade-off of power for... Well, power and speed for uh, reloading amount. But yeah, so that's uh, Claire's unlockable costume. Sort of a more bikery sort of look even though she's already kind of a biker. So, let's see what Leon gets. So, this is a Leon A, not a Leon B, since the B scenario is a bit more complicated with the secret costumes. 
well, I say a bit more complicated. Basically, if you want to get the secret costumes in a scenario B, you just have to have gotten them in scenario A, and uh, Brad will still be there with your other character. And you don't have to worry about not picking anything up as the scenario B character. He doesn't really stun easily, either. It's actually easier in Scenario B since you're allowed to pick up ammo, or, you know, a weapon, like the shotgun, and then you can just blast them. So let's go get Leon's costumes. So as I mentioned, Leon has two possible costumes. But you can also just pick between them, so let's go with the right one first. Which is a weird sort of tank top with an RPD cap and some cargo pants. Makes him look more like an action hero. So, one of the weird things is he doesn't actually get a new weapon like Claire does. Instead, when you're wearing a costume, Leon fires the pistol with one hand instead of two. Also, you see, he holds it like a fool, also a gangster. Um, this actually lets you shoot faster. But has no other real benefits and uh, does not work once you upgrade your pistol. Alternative, alternatively, we got Leon in his off day with his uh, jeans and skull leather jacket. He still fires with one hand in this costume too. Now I mentioned that for Scenario B, you actually uh, you just have to unlock the first character's costumes to be able to get the second characters. But if I remember correctly, if you're wearing a costume as a first character, you'll actually still be wearing it for the cutscenes and stuff in Scenario B. So you know, if we did this with Claire in Scenario B, whenever Leon met Claire, Claire would be wearing her biker outfit, which is kind of a neat touch. Uh, one final thing. People say that to unlock uh, special costumes, you actually have to beat the game once first. That's not actually true. The game just tells you about the special costumes after you've beaten it once. It'll be like, hey, if you get to here without picking anything up, someone might appear. But you can actually just start a new game as I did for this one and run straight here and you'll still have Vickers appear. Oh, and uh, one easy way to get these costumes, there's actually a cheat for this game. If you go to key config in the menu, Hold R1 and press square 10 times. You can actually turn on infinite ammo for everything, including the knife for some reason. So that can actually make it really easy to unlock these costumes. Since you don't need to pick up ammo or anything, you can just blast all the zombies out of the way. Anyhow, that's the special costumes. There are only the three, two for Leon and one for Claire. Uh, there's none that you get from, like, beating the game or anything like that. Still, it's decent. You know, back from the era where unlockable costumes were not paid DLC, but were actually just a thing you got for playing the game. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire, this is Resident Evil 2, and uh, those are the bonus costumes. There will of course be other bonus episodes for unlockable weapons, extra modes, etc. But uh, I'll see you for now. There's also another weird little bonus thing here. If you kill these two zombies, who uh, will not reappear until you've killed Vickers, and then examine this area here, you'll get a camera angle of the front of the RPG station. And this is of course the gate that Jill comes in through before she fights Nemesis. So it's another weird little Resident Evil tie-in to Resident Evil 3 that is in this one before Resident Evil 3 existed, but maybe they had some idea. Anyhow, you can only search that once. <laughs> if you try to search it again, it won't appear unless you go inside and then come back out. So that's a weird bonus thing. <laughs>